Mental health after encephalitis in young people. What is mental health? We all have mental health, in the same way that everyone has physical health. Physical health concerns our bodies, and mental health concerns our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. And just as you can become unwell physically, your mental health can also get worse at times. How common are mental health difficulties? One in every five young people at any given time experience poor mental health. Mental health difficulties can be mild or more severe. For some, there may be warning signs that something isn't quite right. But for others, changes only relate to how we feel inside. Why do mental health difficulties happen? The transition to adulthood involves all kinds of physical, emotional and social changes. These can sometimes make young people vulnerable to mental health difficulties, for example problems with mood and anxiety. Encephalitis can also disrupt the brain structure and the way it is working. This can change your ability to understand and express your emotions, the way you think, see the world or control your behaviour. Being poorly in hospital can also be a traumatic life event that can put strain on your mental health. What can you do if you experience mental health difficulties? If you are finding the way you are thinking, feeling, or reacting is making life more difficult to cope with, or you're having experiences which are hard to make sense of, you might need some support with your mental health. Help is available. Talking to someone you trust about how you feel can be a starting point. Get in touch with your family doctor, who may be able to help or refer you to a professional who can. A teacher, school nurse or counsellor may be able to help too, or tell you about a service or organisation that can. Looking after our mental health. Looking after mental health is challenging, as we can't see our own or other people's thoughts and feelings. But it is also important to do so. Other people who had encephalitis shared their experience of looking after their mental health. They suggested asking for help and accepting it. You don't need to do this on your own. Sleeping and resting when you need. Mindfulness. Spending time outside. Trying a new hobby. Exercising. Finding one thing to be grateful for every day. Connecting with others. Take each day good or bad, as it comes. Making time for yourself. Concentrate on the things you achieve, even if small, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. The Encephalitis Society are here to talk to, signpost and connect you with other people who have been through encephalitis. Please get in touch to find out more.